New at 5 o'clock, a study from the University of Houston is calling attention to a problem that many people in lower income neighborhoods face. New research is finding a major disparity in the quality and safety of produce purchased in low versus high income areas. Our Brandon Walker is live on Houston's south side with a closer look at their findings. Brandon? Yeah, Lauren, and the study focuses specifically on loose leaf romaine lettuce purchased from grocery stores locally. So, lettuce purchased from neighborhoods and communities that are considered low income, they found levels when they tested staph, E. coli, salmonella even. And they say that that contributes to the higher risk of gastrointestinal illness for people who live in low income communities. Access being a big problem here, the study focusing on the problem, but we spoke to some local farmers who say they're part of the solution. Jeremy Peaches' passion is planted. You don't see too many of these in Houston. A rooftop garden. Lettuces, spinach, uh, mustard greens. Sprouting above Buffalo Bayou. This one among the first, a living classroom for a local high school. Showing all different type of growing systems to be able to grow food. Also introducing more sustainable ways to grow food. For instance, capturing rainwater. In a city, Peaches stresses the need to change where we get our produce is critical. We see a huge shift in the supply chain on how food is bought and how it's sold and how it's consumed. You know what Jeremy Peaches is doing here and throughout the Houston area, helping us change the way that we think about what we eat, is in line with research released today, local research that says it's a problem. I think the data needs to drive the conversation. That data published in a study released today looks at what researchers call a lettuce dilemma. They found a disparity in quality and safety of lettuce, loose leaf romaine lettuce purchased in low versus high income areas in Houston. Why lettuce? It's the food commodity uh, that's very um, often associated with uh, food more illness outbreaks. So we looked at the food desert map and then we identified within those areas um, you know, uh, grocery stores or um, retailers that um that these neighborhoods have access. Yeah, the storm really knocked everything out. Ivy Walls owns and operates Ivy Leaf Farms on the south side. She's getting ready for fall planting, creating sustainable local food. It's not charity. This is more of opportunity. I believe everyone should have the opportunity to eat fresh, no matter where you live and who you are. And back here live from Ivy Leaf Farms, Walls and Peaches work together to be part of that solution. They've got several initiatives underway that promote and share what local farmers here in Houston are doing to be a part of that change where we get our food. We'll get that up for you on click2houston.com. Meantime, this study doesn't have any conclusion as to how to solve this problem, but one of the suggestions they do suggest is changing the supply, what we talked about here at the farm, also possibly getting the industry, the retail industry together, the change how we access food and where they get it from. So a conversation starter indeed. We're live on the south side. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC 2 News.